Thank you for watching this demonstration video of the Kid Coder Game Programming course. In a couple of minutes, you will learn about some of the topics covered and see some actual games your student will write. All of our courses come with self-study student textbooks designed to make your kids enjoy their computer experience. Students will complete hands-on activities in each chapter and see their work come to life. A detailed solution guide will give you everything you need to assist your student. The game programming course covers important game concepts used in many different types of games. We teach how to draw shapes on the screen and move objects around the screen. Students will learn about collision detection and basic animation techniques. We will also review some simple game physics such as reflection and gravity to make game objects behave in a realistic manner. Now we'll show you several of the actual games that your student will work on during this course. Our student textbook provides detailed guidance on each programming step. This is the Bubble Blaster game. In this game, the student will use the keyboard to move their spaceship around the screen and shoot at all the bubbles. This game is used to teach the concepts of sprites, game logic, and sounds. In the Go Fish game, the student will help to complete a computer version of the popular card game. This game is used to teach the concept of artificial intelligence, as students will be responsible for adding a computer opponent to the game. The Chain Game is the final game that the student will write in this course. In this game, the student will use as many of the concepts learned in this course as possible. They will use their knowledge of graphics, user input, game logic, and more to complete this program. After your student completes the second semester game programming course, they have reached the current end of the Kid Coder series. In the future, we may add additional Kid Coder course topics and welcome your suggestions. Many students like to move on to the Teen Coder product line as soon as they finish the Kid Coder curriculum. Those products will teach similar concepts but use the more advanced C-sharp language. Thanks for watching.